about to make food that every time you take a bite, you're going to want to do a little bit of a dance because here's the full disclosure. We love a well-made risotto. I am here for that. It is versatile. It is good value and worth wonderfully comforting. And everyone should have a good risotto recipe up their sleeve. I don't. So that's why Chef Clem Pedro is here to show me how to make a creamy risotto with roast potatoes, roast tomatoes rather, and that's all comfort in a bowl. I'm speaking all kinds of things. When you said roast potatoes, my heart was like, I'm not making <laughs> you that. You don't today. add potatoes I don't add the potatoes. Risotto. You're going to make roast tom tom tomato tomatoes. But tomatoes. You're, you're going to make that for me though. Yes. Okay, so super simple. Risotto seems like something very complicated to make, but it's not. It's actually very easy. And <laughs> once you master it, you'll understand like, it's the most comforting bowl of like under 30 minute meal you can put on the table. Okay. Okay. So I'm excited for this. So I'm going to chop up your leek for you. You're doing the leeks for me. So how, how thin, how thick? Um, rustic. Italian rustic. food is about being rustic. So okay. I'm like, just go with it. And just, you're doing an amazing job okay. right now. Okay. I'm heating up some butter and some oil in the pan. To that, I am going to start off with, okay, you got the leeks. That's yes. going to be next. Got the leeks. In the pot over here, I've got some chicken stock. Okay. And I'm heating it up because that's the thing about risotto. You got to ladle in your stock as you stir. Mm. But it's not that complicated where people think they need to devote the next 45 minutes of their life to this one job. It's not that complicated. And once you get the hang of it, you can literally knock it out in under half an hour. I always get very excited when I go to a restaurant and they've got risotto on the menu, especially oh, in me winter. Me too. Me too. Because I don't make it that often at home. And I've like, the past few weeks, I've just been like, rice everything. So I started like working with risottos and they're just so comforting and so delicious. Okay. Yeah, Leeks are looking good. Can I have that? You can go. Perfect. Then I'm actually gonna, you're going to be doing 80% of the work today. Okay, I'm here for that. So then you've got some tomatoes in front of you. You've got the baby tomato, baby cherries, and then you've got the slicing tomatoes. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to give this back to you, if you can just kind of, you can see how chunky we made it? Rustic. Rustic. Rustic is and the way to go. You are like, you are zipping, you're like, chef, you have one minute. Okay, then you've got some olive oil and you've got some balsamic and you've got some sugar. Okay. So once you slice and chop your tomatoes, you can add it to your roasting pan, drizzle olive oil, drizzle balsamic, and sugar, and then give it a little toss toss, and it's gonna go to the imaginary oven. Into our imaginary oven. There we okay. go. So with the leeks, you don't wanna brown them, we just wanna soften them. That's the thing about risotto, you don't wanna see any charred or caramelized bits. Everything's gotta be kind of translucent and pale. This is the one time pale food is what you're looking for. Okay. okay. Then we're gonna go in with some garlic, and then your arborio rice, which is special rice, that's very starchy, it's a short grain rice. So it gives off a lot of starch, and that's where your creaminess comes from. I, you win when, when you are in the zone. And you're just <laughs> I'm not going, listening to I you. I can literally say, and then I saw an elephant fly, and then the rainbow. And I'm came. like, oh yeah, and then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but risotto rice is in. Okay. Do you know actually? Besides restaurants, my wife makes a killer risotto with seafood, and Ooh. when we're feeling fancy, she puts crayfish in, and it's just like, oh. It is. Okay, now it you're is. just being bougie. So the thing with risotto, you can really play around with your add-ons. So now we're making yes. a roasted tomato risotto. Uh -huh. You can make, I mean, my favorite at a restaurant is a mushroom risotto. Mushroom risottos are delicious. And then they're also, as the seasons change, so as you go into like the warmer spring seasons, they do like um, prawn and pea risottos. You kind of work your risotto according to the season. So risotto for me is not a winter food. It's a very seasonal thing you can adapt to as you like, you know? Okay. okay, you can make it fresher for summer. Yes, fresher. Do you, you want to add some wine? Do you want to do wine or no wine? Let's do wine. Okay, let's do wine. Wine going in. Think about it, as soon as you add the wine, you want to evaporate all that alcohol. Because alcohol has a bitter flavor. Okay. And what you're left with is the delicious flavor of the wine. What but is an option. You don't have to do it. What do you do in the event? I mean, we've had countless restrictions where you can't get access to this or a lot of our viewers don't drink alcohol. Yeah. I know it evaporates and it cooks out, but what is an alternative to use? Don't, just take it out. Don't, okay. don't do don't it. Add don't it. do it. Okay, so when it comes to cooking Italian, right? There's one destination to go to, and we know this, and it's Willie's. They've got the best cheeses, the best fresh pastas, dried pastas, mm. and then their pasta sauces. Oh my goodness. So literally, it's worthwhile just going, having a look, and playing around with the combinations of everything that you want in a weeknight dinner. Make it Italian. Okay. Okay, so I'm ladling in the stock, and I'm gonna stir. What's gonna happen is, it's gonna start looking very creamy. It's the starch coming off the rice. And you'll that's know, what you want. That's what you want. And you'll know you're ready to add another ladle when you pull back, and that little space holds on the pan. We're not okay. there yet. We're not, We're not there, there yet. yet. Okay. okay. So I'm going to fast forward very quickly. Is this the secret to making it? It's just be a bit patient. Be patient. Put some music on, do your thing, just chill. And then you can actually make risotto ahead of time. 
And all you got to do then is refresh it, add some more stock, so you don't cook it all the way to the end. Okay. You got like, almost done, and then you add your stock, bring it back to life. That's going to heat through. It's going to go beautiful, creamy, and delicious. You're We're doing the thing. up our breakfast, Chef Clem. It's breakfast. Okay. <laughs> so, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm bringing it close. Look at that. So now how do we serve it? We've got our risotto in a bowl. The one thing that is very important, as soon as your risotto is done, you add a knob of butter, but you take it off the heat first. Add, add a knob of butter, and then we being extra fans, we added some creme fraiche today and extra Parmesan cheese. Okay, don't forget about this plate. No, no, no. So <laughs> That's good. You got your tomatoes there, you got some basil. You can do your own bowl. So how do you, how much butter do you add? Um, no, but that was in the pan, so imagine we stirred that through. Okay, cool. Parmesan. We do oh, this super sure. quick now. There we go. Parmesan. Roasted tomatoes. There we go. And we've got this recipe available for you on woolwords.co.za. Please, if you want to make this delicious, creamy risotto, you can get your hands on this recipe. I love how quick we are making it. Ta-da! Oh, it smells incredible. It does. Uh, we're done. We're done. We're, we're done. done. I there feel we like go. we just did like a... Someone told us you only have a minute to do this, and then we just like did it. Okay. And then there when do you add the creme fraiche? That'll also get stirred through with the butter. There we go. The recipe is available for you on woolwords.co.za. This is my whole bowl. Thank you. Mm. So creamy. So creamy. I love the Parmesan. Great choice. Mm. Mm.